guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you know when I upload videos also I'm so excited to have reached a hundred subscribers on this channel and I'm also doing a giveaway so the link to the giveaway will be down below and it'll also be right here on the screen so that you guys can enter the giveaway and it ends on September 5th so make sure that you enter so that you can possibly have a chance at winning but today's video I'm going to be talking about the products that I use in my hair for this month so I'm doing a hair challenge this month and you probably don't know this if you didn't read my blog which you should definitely do subscribe to my blog because I think it's pretty cool I basically put up a blog post at the beginning of this month saying that I was doing a hair challenge throughout the month of August. What the hair challenge consists of is just no comb. So it's a no comb hair challenge, which means I won't be using a comb or like a brush or anything to detangle my hair except for my fingers. So mostly finger detangling and my finger detangling video will be coming out next week. And also I'm using products that don't contain parabens, silicones, or sulfates, or any damaging products to them. So this video is basically me showing you what products that I have been using that don't contain those harmful products that no one wants in their hair. And they, these products are also very affordable. Now mind you, they're only like about four or five products that I'm going to show, but I'm just letting you guys know. Now the first product I've already shown in a video in my 100 layers challenge video and I just want to say something about that video. A lot of people were commenting about, oh, everybody who did this challenge did it differently. They sectioned their hair and they raked it through their hair. Just a disclaimer, that video was only meant to be for fun. First of all, I wasn't trying to style my hair to like, I wasn't trying to put the conditioner in my hair like as a leave-in or anything I wasn't trying to style it or anything I was doing a hundred layer challenge video it's it was only for fun it's not supposed to be taken seriously it wasn't a tutorial I know how to put conditioner in my hair I know how to detangle my hair it was just for fun and it wasn't just on my video either I saw on a lot of other videos people were trying to t tell people how to put in conditioner into their hair it's a hundred layer video. No normal person is going to put a hundred layers or a hundred pumps of conditioner in their hair. That is just too much. Now getting into the actual conditioner. You've seen it before. It's the Suave Professionals Naturals um, conditioner and I only ha use the conditioner. I don't use the shampoo because the shampoo actually contains sulfate that strip your hair whereas the Suave Professionals Naturals conditioners do not contain like sulfates or silicones in it and it only and I've researched about it too so that's why I know about it and it's weird that the conditioners are on, the only you know good part of the naturals line whereas the shampoos are just not completely good for your hair but let me tell you this is the only conditioner that I use for my hair and it has done so many wonders for my hair I use like a deep conditioning and a regular conditioner and it just makes my hair so soft and it's only from two to three dollars depending on where you buy it sometimes you get like a two for four deal for these kind of things and it's only like two to three bucks and i think it's worth it for and it's like the bigger one not the little small skinny one and this lasts me for a pretty long while but this is the one that i use in the hundred layers so there's not much left to it but i do have more but this is my favorite conditioner of all time and it's really good price. I would not suggest using this as a leave-in though because after it dries I do get some buildup and it does flake up like it does um, cause flaking in my hair. The next things that I'm going to get into is my shampoo slash co-wash. So the first thing is this co-wash and this is the Cantu Shea Butter co-wash and it actually does not contain sulfates, silicones, or parabens, or mineral oils and I think it's very clarifying for my scalp like act like a shampoo but it doesn't really strip your hair and it's been really moisturizing and nourishing for my hair so this is probably the only Cantu product that I use at the moment especially for this hair challenge. Things that I'm going to show you are from the Shea Moisture 
uh, coconut and hibiscus line and I feel like a real natural hair guru because I actually bought something from Shea Moisture and I actually spent a little bit more money to get these products because of this hair challenge. So the first thing is their shampoo. First of all, these two products smell amazing, like coconut and hibiscus smells heavenly. And on the back it just tells you a whole bunch of stuff that it does not contain. I'm just so happy that I invested a little bit more than I would usually spend on my products for something like this, especially for a shampoo because I don't really shampoo my hair. Good results, very clarifying, smells amazing. And my hair is just healthier than it's ever been. Well, the next thing from that Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line is their little curl enhancing smoothie, which I use as a leave-in, and I used it to, um, and I used it for this twist out, as you can see. I love the way that this smells more than the shampoo. Like, let me just, it smells so good. So yummy like I could eat it but I'm not gonna eat it obviously my hair has not been as frizzy using this it has been so shiny and I love that it's just a natural shine knowing that there's no silicones or anything in this to give it such a artificial shine it's all natural and that's one of the main things I do love about Shea Moisture but this leave-in is like my new favorite leave-in and I'm probably just going to use this and buy it all the time it's just so soft like the consistency is thick but it's just so silky and I just love putting it on my hair when I'm styling the last product that I've been using I've already showed this in a video I've showed this in a favorites video I show this in a hair tutorial it's the black is beautiful vanilla with shea butter and I've been using this mostly as like a body butter kind of thing but it has also been good for like stronger holds and more definition hairstyles and I just love this and obviously this is all natural because you can literally read all the ingredients on the top and you can honestly make this yourself so I definitely do recommend this too this was only like five bucks and this is three ounces and I'm still not done with it so that's actually a good price for this so that is all the products that I have for you guys today if you have any other products that you want me to try out that are reasonably priced within a budget because that's what this channel is all about and if you guys have any other um, products and ideas that you want me to try out please leave them in the comments below I love reading the comments I love hearing you guys ideas please be sure to subscribe like comment below all that good stuff and I will see you guys in my next video bye